Peace, peace. Matarian folk was good. It's your brother, man. Say I knew we are back with your reading for this cycle, right? It's for my sun, moon, rising, North Nodian folk was good. All right, so we're talking to the Taurus Collective, right? All right, so, you know, I'm going to lay it all out. I'm going to read it all at once, okay, so that we can conserve on the time factor, all right, which has been the theme going this time around. So, all right, so, folks, uh, you know, without a whole lot of rap, let's get into it. What is God saying about you, the Taurus folk? We got Ma'at Hetep. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Both Scorpio and Taurus got Ma'at Heteps. That's a good thing, man. That's not bad. So far, so good. Let's see. All right. So we're going to lay it all out and then talk about it. So we got Ma'at Hetep. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Let's see what the king will talk about. Open, closed, open, closed, closed, stressed, open, closed, closed, stressed, closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, open, closed, open, open. The 32 into the 40. Interesting. Alright. Alright, let's talk to the tarot on the situation. Flipping around in here. Uh -huh. And it's the Six of Pentacle. Six of Pentacle on the case. And we got the Magician and the Re on this situation here. And, you know, okay, so we really only going to take that Magician. Okay, let me show you. Magician's in the Re, right? And we got these guys over here in the paint, but they're on this side, right? We, when we see the paint, we want it to be on this side. So, yeah. Um, so, I ain't going to really take that. I'm going to just take this here. We're going to say it is the Six of Pentacles in the Up and the Magician in the Re. Our... All right, so... Right, we got a situation of generosity. Someone's being generous, right? Ma'at hetep, right? Ma'at is giving, right? So, you know, someone's, you know, on a righteous jaw, right? Taurus is on a righteous jaw. That's a very interesting situation. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? We're supposed to be on our righteous jaw, you know what I mean? So Taurus is being righteous, right? We got the Six of Pentacles, which means, you know, there is reciprocity here. Someone is giving and receiving instead of just take, take, taking, right? Right? That's a good thing. But, however, there is a need for caution because we got the 32, right? 32nd hexagram, which is the hexagram of duration. And the third line in that hexagram speaks to someone not being enduring, right? Someone being inconsistent kind of thing, right? So, you know, this is uh, a concern about this thing here. I'm going to read it so we get, you know, get the juice, get it in there, right? All right, so, okay, line three. You receive this line when you tend to waver in your spiritual commitments and work. 
The main source of the problem comes from the mistaken belief that situations determine your mindset and emotional states. Let me run that back. The main source of the problem comes from the mistaken belief that situations determine your mindset and your emotional states. You know, in other words, when things is going wrong, you're supposed to be in the glum. Right? Well, no, when things are going wrong, you're supposed to be in the bright because that's how you're going to change it. All right, you rationalize that you are sad because things have never gone well, etc. Since all negative emotions represent a disharmony, disharmonious state of the spirit, mind, and body, there is never a profit or justification for indulging or allowing them. Let me run that back. Since all negative emotions represent a disharmonious state of a spirit, right? Negative emotions, disharmony in the spirit, right? The state of the spirit, the mind, and the body is in disharmony. We have negative emotions. There is never a profit or justification for indulging or allowing them, right? So you see yourself getting negative, right? Succumbing to the negative emotion. There is never a justification for that. Oh, I'm going to mourn because this person died. Or I'm going to mourn because, you know, this person is gone. Or I'm going to mourn because I lost these couple dollars. No, I'm not going to mourn for nothing. All right? Because everywhere that is, is going to be death. <laughs> right? I'm going to be cultivating death. If I focus on death, I'm cultivating death. If I'm focusing on, you know, um, you know, failure, right, then that's what I'm cultivating, right? So, you know, even though, you know, this may have represented something that wasn't great, you know what I mean? I'm not going to focus in on that. I'm going to reverse that with my mind. Everything is the mind, you know? Everything is what, you know, where do you focus your mind, you know? Uh, okay, we'll read it one more time. Since adversity cannot be avoided, we must always respond with peace to adversity and enjoy the fact that we can. Right? But that was the next line anyway. The worst part is that you are blaming the problem on others and or the situation when the real problem is your lack of emotional cultivation. This is the reason why you don't feel well. Anger, fear, anxiety never do. All right, pretty clear, folks, you know, be consistent in your emotional response to things, right? Be consistent in understanding that you must cultivate the positive, right, in your mind for, you know, other things to go well, right? You must cultivate the positive in your mind even when other things don't go well, you know? And this goes into the 40th hexagram, right? 40th hexagram is deliverance. So, you know, this Taurus is, you know, very near, you know what I'm saying, a good positive understanding about their life. You know what I'm saying? Deliverance, right? We are being delivered from something that has bogged us down. It could be our own mentality, right? The way that we are dealing with life. All right, okay, let's read this judgment in the 40, right? 40, deliverance. All right, hexagram 40 is, compo hmm. hexagram 40 is composed of chen above and khan below. It is the opposite of the third hexagram, which is khan above chen. In the third, right, the subject must hold back or is held back back at the beginning of an enterprise or lack of I'm sorry or life by the lack of preparation one is held back at the beginning of an enterprise or life by a lack of preparation and circumstances for his own good right here on the contrary Chen has begun to overcome the hindrances and dangers represented by Khan right the council is to take advantage of the release of Chen and move on as soon as possible to the return of a state of normalcy. All right? You're releasing something. You're releasing something. Return to normalcy. All right? If it is a situation in which estrangement is being overcome, 
move on rapidly to reestablish normal relations. In removal of enmity, return to fellowship. In healing from an illness, return to one's daily activities and so on. Right? In regards to victory, in a situation of conflict, we are counseled to not flaunt our victory or prosecute the matter to the bitter end. Satisfy yourself with victory as soon as it is obtained, even though additional facts can be brought forward. Okay? All right, so yeah, that's simple. It's basically saying to, you know, return to some level of, you know, normalcy, right? You got over something. All right, so keep it moving, right? You know, don't dwell. Don't dwell in, you know, uh, with the thing, right? Because, you know, if you did, you know, when you get over something, keep it moving, right? Be consistent, right? 32. 32 is how things can endure, right? It's how you, how you can pre make a situation that endures, right? So this is, you know, at the third line, we're being counseled to, you know, focus on consistency in our emotional cultivation, right? You know what I mean? Um, you know, stay consistent. You know, you make a decision, stick with your decision. You, you know, decide to, you know, uh, uh, quell something, then let it be, right? And, you know, don't go back, right? The four of hexagram, same thing, don't go back. This is like, you know, whatever you did, just let it go, right? Six, you know, the six is a generous state of doing things, right? Uh, opening the way to reciprocity, right? Give and take, right? You know, you give, I get, I get, I give, you get, right? That type of thing. You know, we are reciprocating here. You know, this is a mindset of give and take versus just taking, right? The magician in the reverse, right? So, you know, is couching the reading, right? So the magician in the reverse, this is looking like, you know, perhaps <clears throat> there was a negative manifestation of some sort. Uh, someone had manifested some level of, you know, um, you know, uh, selfishness. Pardon me. Yeah, there was some level of, uh, you know, a negative manifestation of perhaps selfishness, right? Perhaps someone's selfish, and this is being reversed now. Now, someone is getting on the level of, you know, trying to combat that. You know, it could, have been, could be, you know, someone else, you know, with this magician reverse, someone else affecting a situation. Perhaps someone, you know, was, you know, uh, uh, how you say, bewitched or, you know, had a spell on them type of thing. Where, you know, now you coming up out of that, right? Or the spell is being released. Somehow you're getting away from a conflict with this deliverance, right? Somehow you're getting away from some level of being bogged down, right? So it's my Ahitep, you know what I mean? My Ahitep represents, you know, bringing balance to a circumstance, right? Bringing the truth, right? Bringing righteousness to a circumstance, right? So, yeah, I say, you know, chant your ma uh, mantra, right? Om Shirim, right? Chant your ma'at mantra so that you could be in harmony with this movement, so that you could, you know, have that spirit of ma'at descend upon you and you can roll within it, right? You know, so it's the combat, you know, because you're not completely out of the water, you know what I mean? There is a question of whether or not you will endure. Right, whether or not this new attitude will endure, so that's on the table. You know, what I mean, my at the end of the day is consistency as well. Today as yesterday, tomorrow as today, says my All right, and with that, we're gonna leave it right there. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's the reading, folks. You know, I hope this resonates. Right, if so, please leave a like, leave a comment, share the video with someone who could perhaps use it. All right, and, uh, you know, yeah, man, we're going to come back here and do it again. You know how we do, right? If y'all need personal readings, get in the comment box there and let me know something. All right, 
uh, that's it. All right, so we're going to say peace and love. We're going to see you next time.